Hello, welcome to the Long Island Weather Update on a very nice April 25th, 2024. We had more sun toward the afternoon. This kind of shows you what the uh, skies look like in the afternoon through the evening uh, on the satellite image. Earlier on in the day, uh, we had uh, definitely a decent amount of uh, clouds in and out. It was not overcast, but did have a decent amount of clouds. And later on in the day, the clouds kind of pushed off to the south uh, as that high pressure built down from the north. This is our weather map. You see highs dominating over us today, bringing us some really nice weather. And yeah, I do a video from Belmont Lake. That's where it went today. Uh, you'll see that coming up. And uh, yeah, we got to see some of the maples budding, some pitch pines in the mix, of course. And the clouds that we did have were kind of interesting looking. Um, this was some type of alto cumulus or whatever. Uh, really interesting, especially this one here. I mean, that's <laughs> that's a strange shape for sure. And then toward the evening, we had some upper-level uh, jet chunk come in, which I was not expecting. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, let's go to our uh, st weather statistics for the day. First of all, you'll notice on the map, we've got freeze warnings and frost advisories. It's going to be a very cold night tonight. Uh, and you can see frost advisories for western Suffolk. Nothing for the city or Nassau, uh, but we could still go below freezing in Nassau. And then freeze warnings for eastern Suffolk, Connecticut, and New Jersey, as well as the Hudson Valley. Uh, looking at the weather map, you can see all of that right there going on. So we got those freeze warnings uh, in effect. Look at that. All around New Jersey, uh, Hudson Valley. Uh, it's going to get pretty chilly tonight. And today was pretty cool. Uh, so let's see what we got going on out there right now for temperatures. Uh, and you'll see Islip is down to 43 degrees. West Hampton's already down to 34. So you know West Hampton's going below freezing for sure. Uh, temperatures generally are in the upper 30s and low 40s pretty much everywhere. Mid 40s in the city. Let's see how Jersey's doing. They've also dropped in their pines as well into the 30s. So they'll probably be going below freezing as well. Um, let's go look at our highs for the day. And the highs were only in the low to mid 50s. Uh, pretty cool out east on the forks. It's only around 50. Um, and even in the city, we only had uh, mid 50s. And let's see, mid 50s also in Jersey as well. So. Uh, pretty cool. Let's go to the lows. And West Hampton got down. I think these are the current lows. Um, so the current temperatures are kind of the low temperatures right now uh, because we're going to uh, be dropping uh, because it took a while for those temperatures to drop. So let's take a look at what it was like in Islip today. And you'll see we started out with, um, you'll see here, we started out with definitely some, some cloud cover here and there, but more or less more sun than clouds. Started off with cloud cover in the morning. Actually, it was broken skies in the morning and then it cleared out uh, we had a northeast winds to begin with and then they turned southeast as we got it seems like we have a shortage of observations again uh in the um but you'll see it started out so you can see how the temperatures dropped as we got toward morning uh northeast winds there was a wind so that's probably why it didn't drop too low um there was a wind and then the uh the wind started off northeast, and then they came southeast to south later on, and that kind of dropped the temperatures more. So it really kept it on the cool side at Islip for sure. Um, and uh, so cool. And let's just see, New Jersey, did they get any radiation? No, they didn't get any either. So um, generally speaking, a cool day across the area with those nice onshore winds, uh, you know, turning. We'll I'll look, go a little further west here. We'll look at... Uh, I, mean, I wish I had a site that had a little more observations here. So these sites usually take observations more frequently. All right, Farmingdale did. So um, you can see how we have the northeast winds to start, and they turn southeast and almost south-southwest to south uh, with that onshore flow uh, that we had. Uh, and again, there was more cloud cover in Jersey, uh, obviously, um, uh, from the, because these highs are building down from the north uh, and that's why. So let's go to our weather or climate statistics for the day. I'm sure we were quite a bit below normal today. Ice slip had a high of 52 and a low of 40. So the high was 10 degrees below normal. The low of 40 is 4 degrees above normal, below normal. That puts us 7 degrees below normal. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty chilly, 10 degrees below normal for a high. That's pretty chilly considering that we had a decent amount of sunshine. 60 degrees. For a high at Central Park, that's 6 degrees below normal uh, and a low of 43. So 5 degrees below normal for Central Park. So you get the idea. Uh, definitely a below normal day. Tomorrow will still be below normal, and then we're going to start, uh, temperatures are going to start rising. 
Um, when we go to the Weather Prediction Center, I can show you here day two. See that high starts moving offshore, and then by day three, we start getting into that return flow. All right. Um, so that's that's what's going to um, bring us a return flow. Um, so uh, let's look at our... Um, yeah, I don't put the models up here. I knew I was forgetting to put something up here. I'm like, what am I forgetting to put up? And it was the models, actually, that I was forgetting to put up. And now if we do pull the weather and hazards map out, um, you'll see that... We have some severe weather going on in, it looks like, a tornado watch in western Kansas, as well as red flag warnings in effect for lots of New Mexico. Um, and again, we could look at the high temperatures today, and this will kind of show you the st story that it's pretty chilly over the northeast. 40s for highs in a lot of places up, up in upstate New York, uh, well upstate in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, only in the mid-40s. That's pretty chilly, despite plenty of sun. Um, so you can see the whole northeast section of the country being pretty chilly um, overall. So um, let's look at, and I'm not going to really go into the severe weather in this outbreak. I'm, my, well, these weather updates are focused on Long Island and the northeast in general, especially the tri-state area. So people are wondering, why aren't you talking about the severe weather out in Kansas? It's because it's not a local issue. This is a low, you know, Long Island weather update, you know. Um, so anyway, let's go to the models now and show you what we've got. So high pressure builds in and keeps us, and you can see that high pressure builds it, building in tomorrow, uh, pretty much right on top of us, cresting right on top of us tomorrow, uh, that high from eastern Canada. And then it slowly starts moving offshore by Saturday and the weekend. Uh, but Saturday should still be mostly dry. Um, that high pressure is going to stay anchored right offshore, but then you'll start noticing that we start getting that return flow next week, and that is going to bring in the warm weather for next week. All right, so let's take a look more at the sh short range now. We've got the HRRR up here. Let's go to the HRRR. Hopefully we have most of it by now, and we don't. All right, that kind of sucks because I really want most of it. All right, well, let's go to the NAM 12. All right, so just to go over the next chance of precipitation that we are going to have no precipitation tomorrow it's saturday night that we might see something and some of the models are showing a little more robustness to this but again we're going to talk about that weekend weather i think tomorrow we'll cover that more in tomorrow's weather update so i guess we'll go to the hrr now because this does cover tomorrow so let's uh, go to the dew points and wind flow and you'll see here that you see that southerly flow, and the more we continue with this, it becomes like an easterly flow. Um, the air is still pretty dry, uh, so it should be fairly clear skies. And then uh, as we get towards Saturday, that's when we start seeing that um, southerly flow start to develop. This only takes us to 12Z Saturday, but again, I'll talk about the weekend tomorrow night. Uh, so let's look at our... Um, oh, <laughs> I meant to... Oops... Uh, we'll go to the temperatures. So temperatures uh, for tonight, it's going to get cold. Um, lows are going to get into the mid-30s in, at, at the, at a lot of places. Maybe not the city, but a lot of places. And I think a lot of places are going to go below freezing. The 20 is probably likely in the Pine Barrens as well. So a lot of places are going to go below freezing tonight, and there could be some frost and freeze. That's why we have those frost and freeze warnings tomorrow. Maybe inland it gets a little warmer, like central in, in New Jersey, away from the coast. But generally speaking, temperatures tomorrow are going to be similar to those of today. Generally, probably mid-50s, probably. Maybe we'll be more toward the mid-50s, but it's still going to be on the cool side. And then it will drop again tomorrow night uh, into the 30s, probably, though, with the increasing... We'll have to see how much cloud cover we'll have around. But let's look at some of the soundings on this HRRR model. We'll use 16Z here, and we should have... A fairly clear profile here for the uh, atmosphere. Yep, looks pretty clear. So I think tomorrow we'll have less clouds. You see Jersey also showing a nice gap there as well. So that shows fairly clear skies. Let's go off to the afternoon now. Um, let's see if we can get that from the afternoon here. Still pretty uh, far apart. We'll look at Long Island as well. Yep, so it looks like a fairly clear sky tomorrow. Uh, clearer than today because I know we had some clouds around 
Uh, as far as that upper level moisture, let's see if it's even picking it up. I'm kind of curious if it's picking that upper level moisture up. Not really. It didn't pick up that upper level moisture at all that we had tonight, which was kind of interesting because I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting jet junk this. I wasn't expecting this at all, and we had that this evening. So um, that I wasn't expecting, and the HRR does not pick up on that. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, let's look at the GFS, and maybe the GFS did a better job picking up on it. Let's see. Yes, the GFS picked up on it. So let's look at the GFS for tomorrow. All right. So these are the air temperatures, all right, and then similar profile to the HRR as far as the temperatures go. But let's look at the skies because it is showing just a little more upper-level moisture than um, the HRR. The HRR kind of missed out on that upper-level moisture, whereas the GFS is kind of picking up on it. Um, so I, I, maybe there'll be some scattered jet junk, perhaps, but I still think it should be a fairly sunny day. Hopefully not too much jet junk. Um so let's go look at the skies on this model. And you'll see here again, it is showing fairly clear skies. So you see it actually is picking up on that jet chunk there that we're getting. Uh, but that's going to be out of here. And I think we should have a mostly sunny day tomorrow. Um, a sunny or a sunny day. I don't think there'll be any clouds at all, hopefully. And then some more clouds coming tomorrow night. Obviously, Saturday, we'll see those clouds increase throughout the day, according to the GFS. And again, I'll talk more about Saturday tomorrow night. Uh, but let's go to the RGEM model. This will be the next model we can look at as well. So showing you again, fairly clear skies, though it does try to pop up maybe an isolated cumulus over the center of Long Island, perhaps. Um, but other than that, it should be fairly clear tomorrow. And then tomorrow night as well, fairly clear. So it's, it's probably going to be chilly tomorrow night. And then Saturday, we'll see those high clouds rolling. But you'll see that it's really kind of most of them stay off to the west for most of the day. So I think Saturday should also feature a good amount of sunshine um, as well. But again, we'll talk about Saturday, tomorrow night. We'll talk, we'll talk about the weekend. Uh, so that is going to wrap up this Long Island weather update. Um, thank you for watching, and enjoy this weather because uh, next week it definitely does not look as nice. Yeah, it'll be warmer, but the sky won't be as nice. So anyway, have a good night.